Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Keyshape, creating SVG animations, and creating animations that can be exported as Lotus files for iOS, Android, and web projects. So let's get started. Keyshape is a vector animation tool that uses SVG and works with your favorite vector editing tool such as Sketch, Figma, Adobe SD, or Illustrator. You can work with any of these tools and export your designs into Keyshape as an SVG. Here in Sketch, I have created this icon. If I go to the layer list and hide the green layer, you can see I also have a spinner behind it. I will select the add board and export as an SVG. In Keyshape, I have created a new document and exported the designs from Sketch into Keyshape. Keyshape is 2D vector animation tool and it works just like After Effects without the video capabilities. On the left, we have the vector editing tools. In the middle, we have the canvas. And on the right, we have the layer inspector, which shows the property of a selected layer. The right side of the timeline is the layer list. We are going to hide the check mark as well as the green circle. First, let's select the green circle and go to the properties. We are going to use the scale property to scale both X and Y properties to zero. I'll go through the list and find the scale property. I'm going to select the field and change that to zero, making sure we have the lock icon. Let's hide the check mark as well. From the properties inspector, let's go to the dash property. Here you can see we have total path length, which is 25.66. I'm going to select the total path length and press command C to copy. To hide that check mark, we are going to use the path and the offset properties. You can see now we have the dash as zero, so we don't have any dash in the check mark. I will delete the zero and press command V to paste. I will select the offset and press command V to paste the total path length and press enter. So now we don't see the check mark anymore. We are going to use animation to show it. So let's begin animating the spinner. Let's go to the timeline. You can see we have this plus icon at the bottom left. I have the spinner selected. So I will click on the plus icon. And here we can select the property we want to animate. We are going to animate rotation. So I'm going to select rotation and that creates our initial keyframe in the timeline. Before we enter the rotation value, let's go to the browser and do some calculations. I'm going to rotate this spinner at three revolutions. And we see from basic math that one revolution is equal to 360 degrees. So if I want the spinner to undergo three revolutions, I need to multiply 360 by three. And the answer is 1080. The time code is in the format minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. So I'm going to select the seconds and change it to three seconds and press enter. So that moves the playhead to exactly three seconds. I'm going to turn on auto keyframe. With auto keyframe, now anything we do is going to be recorded. With auto keyframe turned on, I will go to the properties and select rotation. I'm going to enter the value we just saw in the browser, 1080. And that connects the initial keyframe to the final keyframe in the timeline. To preview this animation in the browser, I'm going to stop the preview here and press command and enter. That opens the browser and our animation is just previewing in the browser. Next, let's create animation for the green circle. Let's go through the layer list and select the green circle. I'll go to the timeline and click on the plus icon. 
here we can select the property we want to animate i'm going to select scale with that selected you can see we have created our initial keyframe at zero seconds now i'll go to the time code and move the playhead to a saturday three seconds i'm going to turn on auto keyframe and go to the properties i will change the scale property from zero and enter one making sure the lock icon is locked and press enter i'll move the playhead back to zero and turn off auto keyframe and click on the play icon to preview the animation as the spinner rotates the green circle also scales to one from this animation you can still see the spinner behind the green circle after three seconds so let's hide that i'm going to select the spinner and make sure the playhead is at three seconds with that selected i will click on the plus icon to add another keyframe we are now interested in the opacity keyframe because we are going to use that to hide it from view i'm going to select opacity and that creates the initial keyframe now i'm going to turn on auto keyframe and move the playhead immediately after three seconds with that done i'm going to select the property opacity and change it from 100 percent to zero and press enter as you can see that hides the spinner after three seconds so let's turn off auto keyframe and preview the animation again the opacity animation happens a little bit late so let's move it to the left I'm going to click around and select both keyframes and move it to the left to somewhere at 3 seconds and preview again. So this is exactly what we want. So now that we have the spinner rotating and the green circle scaling from 0 to 1, let's see how to create animation for the checker. I'm going to select the check mark and go to the timeline. Let's click on the plus icon to add the animation property we want to animate. I will go through the list and select stroke dash offset. Using the stroke dash offset property, you can refill or hide shape layers. That's what we are going to do to refill the check mark. I will click to select stroke dash offset. Let's select the dash offset and change the property to zero. And turn off auto keyframe. Press on the play icon to preview. As you can see, the check mark animation is very slow but we can select any of the keyframes and move them closer. I'm going to select the final keyframe and move it close to the initial keyframe and preview again. Key shape also have lots of timing functions. With the check mark animation selected, I will go to this icon to change the easing preset instead of linear I'm going to select ease in out and change the power from sign to something like sec and preview again I'll stop the preview and press command and enter to preview in the browser. With this animation done, we can select file, export, and export all kinds of different file formats. For example, we can export this animation as CSS SVG animation or JavaScript SVG animation. Also, we can export the animation as Lodi so that we can preview the animation on Loti files or use the Loti preview iOS app. 
we can also export the animation as animated GIF or a movie file or animated PNG sequence. So friends, this is how to get started with Keyshape animations, creating SVG animations and Loti animations, that is animations you can use directly in your iOS apps or Android apps or use them on the web. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like the video and thanks for watching.